Okay, Liam, you're about to start the Lakeland 100. Now, this isn't your first time starting a Lakeland race here. We're hoping for a better result this time around. Can you just talk us through what's happened before? Uh, so, leading up to the last event, I picked up a bit of an injury. I didn't think it was very much. I altered my training and started the race, but I inevitably wasn't fit enough. And I was just getting slower and slower and ended up timed out on Amble's side. Well, we're all, all certain it's going to go better this time around. Uh, what's made you want to come here and do the Lakeland 100? Uh, the Lakeland, it's all about the atmosphere, really. The Lakeland is a fabulous event. It really is the pinnacle of the UK ultramarathon scene. In summertime, of course. Uh, <laughs> the spine has it covered for winter. But, uh, yeah, it's just a fabulous atmosphere. There's always something going on, and I know a lot of people are in and around the scene, so it's a good opportunity to socialise. Now, how's the preparation gone this time? You you feeling good about this? I've had a very good build-up. Yeah, it's gone much, much better. Um, ran well, trained well, good run-up events, so I'm in significantly better condition this time around. And are, are there any parts of this race that you're not looking forward to so much? Some people, it's nighttime navigation. Some people don't like uphills. Some don't like down. What's What are you not looking forward to? Um... It's not so much not looking forward to, uh, more apprehensive about. So I heard in the race briefing there's a bridge out at Black Sail, yeah. which means a river crossing, which could be entertaining. Uh, we don't know how high it is, how deep it is, but we're guaranteed to get wet, which is fine. But we'll deal with that as it comes. Uh, and then it's, it's more about maintaining pace uh, later in the event. Uh, just try to keep up momentum and kind of keep moving forward. What does keep you going? 105 miles of going. Uh, well, what's interesting this time, I have a slightly different motivation. So the, the last time, two years ago, when I didn't finish, um, my daughter, who was two and a half at the time, ran the Lakeland 1. Ah. So when I got to the end, she went, here's my medal, where's yours? So she's running the Lakeland 1 in a half an hour, and uh, I better come with the goods. Yeah, well, hoping you've got some bling to show here on Sunday. Um, and for anyone who's watching this, thinking about taking the race on themselves or a race like it sometime in the future, what tips would you give them? Uh, just prepare well. It's all about consistency. Get to know your kid, have confidence in your training, and just go for it. I've got one final question. Is there a song, one song, that's a go-to that will get you pumped up for a running a monstrous distance like this? Uh, I tend to like old school rock, so I'd go Metallica, Enter Sandman for the start, and then I go a bit soft halfway with Bon Jovi living on a prayer. Well, Perfect, it's well, inspiring stuff. There, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Have a great time out there, Liam. We'll see you at the finish line. Excellent, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thank you too.